gonna be a quick tutorial on how to fix overheating on your RTX 2060 or 2070 or 2080 on a RTX GPUs and how to fix it easily. Uh, so, you know, you have, let's say you have 80 degrees when you're gaming, you know, it's running really loud. You don't want it, right? So the problem is that it, it, it is really, it's likely that you're gonna have this problem if you have the RTX, the first gen of RTX cards, which is the 2060, 2070, and 2080, and 2080 Ti. If you have a 3060, 3070, 3080, 3090, I don't think they have that of a problem. I think the problem is they're, they're not, it's not that bad there because the terminal solution is a lot better on uh, the second generation of uh, the graphics cards. Uh, so um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you from the beginning because I have a, I actually have a profile here that I, I know that works, doesn't crash on me on everything. So what we're gonna do, you have to download MSI Afterburner, okay? So you're gonna go here and you're gonna go to your Google, whatever, Oprah, and you're gonna download MSI Afterburner. It works with uh, any graphics card, um, any vendor. So you're gonna click download Afterburner. It's gonna download, you're gonna install it, okay? You know how to do that. And then you're gonna go here and it's, I'm gonna click on default so I can show you like from the beginning. So it's gonna be on default. Now you're gonna see it, it is at 1365 megahertz and 7000 megahertz on uh, the memory clock. And what you're gonna do is to, you will have to run a game. You will have to run a game and see what your default clocks are. So my default clocks are, you can see them right here. So the max for your graphics card is gonna be right here. And we need to add that, uh, we need to see, the, so the minimum is 1365 for my graphics card. And the, the boost is 1965, okay? So what you will do is you're gonna uh, click on core clock. You're gonna click on this icon here. Okay, so it's gonna tell you if you're gonna hover over it, it's gonna uh, say voltage frequency curve editor. You're gonna click on that. And now what you're gonna do is to go to 900 uh, uh, mini voltage. Voltage, okay, you're gonna see here and you're gonna edit this number here and you're gonna edit it to the, the highest core clock you, you, you can run the, the graphics card at. It's gonna, so run a game, play, a, play the game for about 20, 15 minutes and then, then after that just see the, the maximum core clock and then you will have to add it here. Okay, so if it's like, if it's like 70 and 40, you have to go up like 200, okay? so you'll go you'll have to go up so you're gonna you're gonna use your um you can use your mouse for it so you're gonna go up so i'm gonna go to 1960 about here 1968 it doesn't really matter you know it's just like 10 or whatever up so and then after that you're gonna click l and it's gonna lock onto that uh, fr frequency and the voltage. Okay, so at 900, it's not gonna do anything to your graphics card. Just maybe try, uh, maybe like a small jump before that. So like 1880 or 18, 1860. And, and if it's not crashing, like do lock onto it and then click apply. And then play a game for like 20 minutes. If it's not gonna crash, go to your standard uh, core clock. Okay. So yeah, I mean, that's about video. That's everything uh, that I wanted to say and uh, teach you. And hope, if you have any problems with, uh, with that, make sure to comment uh, in the uh, comment section. And uh, I'm gonna try to answer all of your questions. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.